Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats Clan Generator with our very first randomly generated clan, Sun Moss Clan, which I have to admit is a bit of a mouthful. I was just thinking about moss, I always name everything Moss Clan, and I was like, well let's make it a little more original. Then I was thinking about summer, and we ended up with Sun Moss Clan, which really sounds kind of nice, except then I thought about it some more and realized that moss doesn't really like to be in the sun. But oh well, here we are are our very first clan and sometimes you kind of learn while you go and that is what we are doing with this clan so things got really interesting last time because we don't have that many cats who are actually like um able to go out and hunt right now however some of the kits that we were able to go ahead and keep alive have actually gone ahead and become warriors themselves so let's review all of the cats i love that you can see the allegiances like really quick that's beautiful right now we are let's see yeah we're 12 moons old so the clan has been around for a year now nothing of significance has recently happened except for the fact that we have barry star now she was the daughter and the deputy of our former leader who you can actually see over here fallen star has been following the growth of barry star and so she was our very smart playful leader that was was really cool to be able to see like it, it, she actually has offspring we just had to kind of like make some of the allegiances and model whisker our sneaky medicine cat actually has recently passed away too but we were able to desperately train sky kit who has now become sky face into becoming the medicine cat i love to imagine that she just kind of woke up and she's always been a very very nervous cat so i love the idea that she kind of woke up and she was like what are all these dreams i don't understand what's going on so i love the concept that maybe whoops maybe our medicine cat tends to be a little bit jumpy uh also she's wondering if she can borrow some cat mint from the other clans she's a good teacher and she's um, uh, em empathic so i i think she's calmed down she's not as skittish as, skittish as she used to be what are the other cats thinking light ear has actually gone ahead and become a warrior he was skyface's apprentice uh in the past and a light ear were you supposed to be were you supposed to be a medicine cat i don't think so i think we only have one medicine cat right now and little ash kit the very sweet kitten who is currently daydreaming and my friends i like the idea that perhaps our wonderful sky face did actually end up with a prophetic dream about little ash kit that ash kit will one day save the clan because why not go ahead and recycle some of the original like character ideas for warrior cats and i kind of love the idea that we were standing here going like uh oh the clan is gonna die out what are we gonna do and then little ash kit showed up so i want to see how he turns out when he grows up he's three moons away from being old enough for an apprentice uh and then let's see chestnut stock is bossing around the younger cats that is so her our vengeful elder she totally would be bossy she is very she's very smart extremely smart i wish she had been able to train some of the cats before she became an elder and fog speckle who is stuck in the elder's den with her is currently rethinking their life choices poor guy he's a good hunter but quite nervous and then we have our current deputy sag speckle who's thinking about kids oh my gosh yeah and he should be in a relationship with uh, Barry Star, but I don't know if she's going to be able to have kids while she's a leader. I wonder if that's why they haven't had any kids yet. So maybe oh, I wonder if Sedge Speckle is actually thinking about breaking up with his leader. And he's hanging out with her and i think they're trying to talk kits and she's tripping over a kit so i don't think she's currently in the mood for kits but let's see who are our other warriors right now we do have frost pelt who is a silver medium furred she cat who took forever like light ear i think and frost pelt took forever to become warriors because we didn't have enough warriors to train all the apprentices and i wonder if sedge speckle is kind of thinking like you know i haven't had any kids i'm thinking about kids and barry star has to put the clan first maybe i should find another she cat <gasps> that will be our drama for today my friends is sedge speckle wants kits and we're gonna try to find 
find a way for him to get those kids. So let's actually grab Sedge Speckle. He is calm and a great speaker. So we're gonna add him to patrol. And I think we're gonna go ahead and we are going to send him out. Let's see, I wish you could tell which ones are the males or females uh, from over here because I have a hard time remembering sometimes. All right, so Reed Fire is male. Frostbelt is the one. She's sneaky and an excellent speaker. And then Sedgebuckle still thinking about kits. All right, and then we've also got Berry Star. And oh gosh. And then we also have the playful Light Ear. So I wonder if we might have Light Ear go on patrol with Sedge right now. So let's add patrol, add patrol, uh, add to patrol, add patrol. And you know what, let's do a frostbelt too and just see how it all turns out. So we'll start patrol. The pro patrol quickly devolves into ghost stories. Everybody is on edge, oh my gosh. <laughs> But we have three excellent speakers, so I think they're able to, like, really freak each other out. Despite that, we had a successful patrol. All right, so at least we had a good patrol. Meanwhile, let's send out Berry Star and Reed Fire, and they're going to go on another patrol. <gasps> Sun Moss meets a Perch Clan patrol at the border, but nobody is hostile? Oh my gosh! Well, we don't have any good talkers with us, but we do have a good fighter. And apparently, we have a rival clan! Perch Clan! Okay, that's kind of exciting. Despite the lack of outright hostilities, the situation turns awkward fast. Oh, oh dear. But, oh my gosh, and now Ash gets hanging out with the elders because everybody else is out on patrol. <laughs> okay, and it looks like we still have not gained any experience, but you guys told me if I keep sending the cats out on patrols, then eventually we will indeed gain experience. So, next day, or next month, Nothing's happening, but Regret's not eating the bird in the fresh kill pile earlier. So that's Light Ear. And then we have Ash Kit, Skyface, Chestnut, the Rethinking Life Choices, Skyface is having a good day, Fodge Speckle, and then Sedge Speckle is visiting the Medicine Cat Den, maybe for some guidance on what he should do with this fact that he he keeps thinking about like other cats. And here's Berry Star. So let's actually go on a patrol. I think we're gonna send Sedge back out. Maybe this time with Berry Star, just to give him a chance, and Frostpelt. And then everybody's telling ghost stories again. All right, we had a successful patrol. That's great. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to have Reed and... Oh, no! We have a good fighter and an excellent speaker, but a scent of a fox? Well, we can't just leave a fox next to the clan. Oh, man. Neither of these two are very aggressive, though, but let's try. Your patrol finds a fox and her cubs and drives them away. <gasps> Ooh! Did that mean that they, we finally got some experience? Well, very low. I wish the kill cat option was very far away from where we're at because I keep worrying I'm accidentally going to like hit that and I'm not trying to. <gasps> Look, Light Air finally has just low experience. Thank freaking goodness. We need some experience in this clan. All right, next moon. Ooh, nothing of significance happened, but let's check on Sedge Speckle's feeling good. It looks like he's spending a lot of time talking to uh, his sibling, Skyface, who is the medicine cat, maybe trying to figure out what to do about things. And then ba Barry Star's mind is just completely on battle strategies, and I feel like she's just like not thinking about kits. Uh, speaking of kits, Ash Kit should become Ash Paw in a little bit here. Let's go ahead and send out another patrol. We'll send out Sedge Speckle, and then we'll send him out, maybe with Reed Fighter, and I feel like he's kind of getting attracted to Frostpelt. So we'll see how that works. Ooh, scent of a large dog! We do have a good fighter and clever and sneaky. Yay! All right, they valiantly drove the dog away. Oh, Barry Star must, she's thinking about battle strategy. She must be so proud of all of her cats. Did we gain any experience? Yes! All right, finally! <laughs> We're getting a little bit of experience. That's a very, very good thing. Uh, and then we'll send these two on patrol as well. Light Ear keeps getting distracted. Oh no, two playfuls out together. But Light Ear's playfulness actually helped the mood in the clan, so that's nice. All right, it is now Greenleaf, and Ashpaw has started their apprenticeship. Yay! Look, he's daydreaming! And his mentor is actually a Frost Pelt. I wish you could assign mentors because I feel like Berry Star might take a personal interest in a cat who is supposed to like go ahead and help save the clan. But if we're gonna be able to keep him alive or not, like is gonna depend. And actually Frost Pelt being an experienced, in quotation marks, <laughs> warrior at 16 moons. I mean, 
we're either old or young in this clan. There's no in between. I wonder if she actually, yeah, she's feeling gloomy. I wonder if she's actually thinking she also wants to go ahead and potentially find a mate. I think Sedgebeckle is glad that he has, you know, gained a little bit more experience. And Bearing Star has heard a rumor about Fog Speckle. Really? Oh no, Fog Speckle is forgetting who Fallen Star was. <gasps> He's getting so old. Oh my gosh, that must be a report from Skyface, the medicine cat, that Fog Speckle is beginning to get so old that he can't really remember anything. Oh, that's so sad. All right, well, what's Chestnut? Chestnut stock is just looking cranky and vengeful as always. I love it. And then Reed Fire is feeling kind of sassy today. Hmm. I feel like Reed Fire might try to make a move on one of the other cats soon. Uh, let's have Sedge Speckle. Go on a patrol and we'll send him out, maybe with Berry Star. Uh, and then we'll also send him out with Frost Pelt again. And they came across a rogue! Okay, we have two great speakers basically. And the rogue finally leaves, but not before giving Berry Star a scar! <gasps> Berry Star! Oh, she has a scar under her eye now! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I wonder how she feels about that. And we still have like. Oh no, okay, all right, let's send uh, Light Ear and Reed Fire out with a little ash kit. And then your patrol has a disagreement. They look to Reed Fire to settle the dispute. So, Reed Fire, I mean, we've got Strange, Playful, and Clever. Ash Kit, are you strange? Or Ash Pot, are you strange? Reed Fire manages to skillfully smooth over any disagreement. All right, I kind of like how you always are doing something different with the cats and trying to figure out like their experience. So now we have slightly low. Readfire is getting there. So I feel like Readfire might actually come across as more attractive of a potential mate to Frostbelt because he actually has the most experience and he's a clever, good fighter in the clan, which would leave Sedge Speckle potentially going ahead and trying to woo maybe Lightyear. I hate that they're probably siblings, but whoops. I mean, what can you do? All right, nothing of significance has happened. All right, Sedge Speckle. The time, he's getting nervous. I feel like he needs to go ahead and make a decision. Is he going to try? <gasps> Barry Star almost lost a life recently. Maybe it was from that dog they ran into or the rogue they ran into. My goodness. Oh my gosh. And he's like clearly trying to spend a little bit of time with him, but, or her. But, you know, I just, I feel like, look, now he's spending time over with, with Frost Pelt. I really think that things are starting to get a little bit tense in here. And now, like, here we have Reedfire. Wishes they could visit Graystripe and Star Clan, who is, like, thinking about the great, powerful warriors who actually was the only Star Clan member we had. Here, hello, I am here to guide the dead cats of Sun Moss Clan in Star Clan. Oh, gosh. And then, what does Fallen Star think about all this? She's wondering about what the two legs are up to. And Model Whisker is admiring the territory. Maybe we're, whoops, maybe we're doing better with it now. All right, all right. Ooh, Frostpelt is hanging out with Reedfire. All right, let's send those two on patrol in just a second. And then Ashpaw, who is your mentor again? Frostpelt, so that's right. So let's send these guys on patrol because I think that Frostpelt is actually starting to think that Reed is a better potential mate. They find a kitty pet who is interested in cat clans. Okay, we do have an excellent speaker. I think that's Reed. Oh, the kitty pet has joined. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Pale Paw, a previous kitty pet. 11 moons, probably old enough to be considered a, a adult female in just a little bit. She's careful and her mentor is Sedge Speckle, huh? Oh my gosh. All right, Sedge Speckle, where'd you go? I mean, now he has Pale Paw. I, he, he's been entrusted with another cat to mentor. What does Frostpelt think about that? I mean, she's got a mentor as well, and, or excuse me, an apprentice as well. And Reedfire doesn't have a mentor yet, or excuse me, an apprentice yet, even though he is pretty experienced. Um, gosh, all right, so Sedge Speckle, let's add you and your new apprentice to the the patrol. We'll send you out. They found another kitty pet. <gasps> Vlit! Oh my gosh. Now we have another kitty pet. This is Volhart, the calm warrior. Previously a kitty pet. 
I, I feel like we're about to have a lot of romance kind of like play out here in just a second. Uh, meanwhile, let's add these three cats to a patrol. Light ear suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork. Unfortunately, nobody steps up to teach. <laughs> Trying to like teach our kitty pets what to do. Okay, well guys, I think the time has come. <gasps> oh no, sky faced and fr Frostbelt died of a contagious disease. And Pale Flame has just earned their warrior name. This is horrible. How have we ended up with no warrior cat again? Oh my gosh. Oh, what do you think about that sky face? Is hoping they will be remembered. She was going to be a good teacher. And we just never had a cat who ended up being like her apprentice. How do we go ahead? There's all this drama. Does that mean that little Ashpaw is thinking about the time they caught a huge rabbit is supposed to be the medicine cat apprentice? Because I don't think I can assign. Or maybe, I mean, I was thinking maybe it would be Pale Flame. But like, she's too old. I guess to have a medicine cat, you have to have the only apprentice. Literally the only apprentice in our clan is Ashpaw. And I thought he might end up becoming like a, a clan leader, but maybe, look, he's even in the medicine cat den. All right, fine, Ashpaw. Let's go ahead and we're gonna switch you to being a medicine cat apprentice. You're literally eight moons old. Like, here we have Pale Flame who's feeling happy, trying to like sort things out. Volheart is feeling kind of down. Maybe she was actually kind of close. Oh no. And then, you know, like Ashpaw, Ashpaw, like Volheart. Okay, who, Pale Flame, Pale Flame was actually the apprentice of her mentor who died of a contagious disease. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think she's she's actually feeling okay. But oh, who should I pair off then? I feel like I feel like especially as Sedge Speckle was just starting to get pretty close to some of the the or he was starting to get close to like Frostpelt and maybe potentially thinking about taking her as a mate instead of Berry Star. I think he's going to go out with none other than Volhart because she's actually feeling kind of down right now too. So we're going to send those two out on a patrol together. They came across a rogue. Sench Speckle just gained a scar <gasps> oh, from fighting off that rogue and now he thinks he's going crazy. You guys, I think this is going to be it. We're going to break it up. He He's really lonely. We're going to go ahead. We're going to have him... Uh, and Volhart be in a relationship because I think he's just super lonely. And meanwhile, I think we're going to go ahead and we'll see if Reedfire, we'll send Reedfire on out. And I feel like Reedfire might go for Pale Flame. So we'll see how that goes. Reedfire suggests this might be a good time for everyone to work on teamwork, but nobody steps up to teach. Well, we do have a good hunter, but we don't have any good teachers right now. Oh dear. All right, maybe Barry Star is going to go on a patrol by herself. Uh, she meets a tall clan patrol at the border. Nobody is hostile. Okay, but at least we got a whole bunch of experience. Oh, wow. Okay, and now let's just kind of carry on. I want to try to make it through another year with the clans, but the drama has been more intense than I thought. Uh, here. <laughs> All right, how's everybody doing? Light ears having a good day. Ashpaw is daydreaming. Pale Flame is uh, going ahead and napping. Volhart is headed to the dirt place. Let's see. Chestnut Stock's having a good day. Oh, Fox Speckle just found a trinket that used to belong to Graystripe in the Elder's Den. Oh my gosh. Sedge Speckle is spending a considerable amount of time grooming, possibly because he wants to impress his new mate. Reedfire is thinking about kits. Okay, that's about as clear a sign as you can possibly ask for. We're going to go ahead and have him and Pale Flame become a couple, and we'll send them out on a patrol. They come across a thunder path. Oh dear. Well, you know, she's a kitty pet. I think she'd feel... Yay! Okay, we can hunt on the other side. Did that actually give them a little bit of experience? Maybe? We could use all the experience we could get for Pale Flame. I mean, she has a bait, right? Yeah. Reed Fire is her mate. Good. And then let's go ahead and we'll send out Sedge Speckle and Volhart on a patrol. They have a disagreement? Oh my gosh. Oh no! <laughs> And Sedge Speckle, oh no, they had a fight, not when I was trying so hard to make something happen and there be love. Oh, we missed the, we missed a rat. Oh, dang it. All right. 
Well, it's another day. Sedge Speckle's feeling gloomy because he had a disagreement <laughs> with his mate. I think he's doubting himself and he's wondering if he should have stayed with Barry Star. Barry Star is feeling pretty confident about things. She has trained so many cats. Reed Fire is trying to set a good example for the younger cats. Fog Speckle is feeling sassy. Chestnut Star is telling scary stories. Light Ear is now thinking about kits. <gasps> Oh, but she doesn't have any cat who is, who is like her. Oh, and Pale Flame is decorating her nest. I wonder if that's a good sign. But yeah, we don't have any cat as, as a potential mate for Light Ear. So I think she's beginning to like think about that. So let's have her actually go out on a patrol with, let's see, which, okay, those cats are in a pair. Light Ear suggests, let's practice teamwork. Oh dear. All right, and then we'll do Reed Fire in Pale Flame. The leaves are starting to turn colors. The patrol knows that Leaf Bear will be here soon, but for now, the hunting is still good. Then Sedge Speckle and Volhart. Okay, Volhart admits they had a vision from Star Clan last night. The patrol talks about the vision as they hunt. <gasps> Maybe they're actually getting close again. Oh, we'll have to find out. He's he's still feeling down and spending time hanging out with Barry Star. That makes me nervous. How many lives does she have left? I feel like that should list it for warriors. Reed Fire wants to spend a little bit of time alone today. Uh, okay. And then Fog Speckle's feeling gloomy. The 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 vengeful cat is feeling excited. I'm a little worried about that. Let's see. Ashpaw is counting poppy seeds. Pale Flame. Oh, Pale Flame and Reedpaw don't want to spend any time together. Oh dear! Alright, well I'm gonna have them go out on solo patrols. Um, because I feel like they're both needing a little time alone. A chilly wind makes it difficult to hunt. But, and meanwhile, Sedge Speckle is feeling gloomy. I'm gonna send him out with Berry Star. Because I feel like maybe he was wanting to spend a little bit of time with her. And Light Air, as usual, is getting distracted, but lightened the mood. <gasps> Yay! Volhar just had three kids and Ash Shadow is now officially a medicine cat. Oh, and it's winter. Oh my gosh. Let me see. The Look at little Rook Kit. Regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile earlier. Volhart and Sedge Speckle have gone ahead and they have had some kits. So maybe they have settled their disagreement. We also have Trout Kit and then we have, yeah, there's the little Root Kit. And then we have Sheep Kit! Are you kidding me with those kinds of cute little spots and dots? Okay, I'm so happy. Let's just send out like big patrols today. One of the cats get their, gets their footstep. It's such, up to such speckle to stay calm and help. All right, they weren't able to do any hunting, but hopefully they managed. And then it's snowing, but they managed to hunt. I am so happy about, oh, Sheep Kit's becoming interested in herbs, noted, and look at Ash Shadow. Saw Frostpelt in a dream warn them about something. <gasps> what is Frostpelt saying? Watching over the clan. Model Whisker died? Oh, that's right. Is worried about the car cats in the dark forest. Okay, no, no, I was, I was shocked by Model Whisper, Whisker, who was the medicine cat. I knew she died. Why was I acting so surprised? I'm still really sad about Frostpelt. I thought the cat who died for just a second was Cranky Chestnut Stock, who is very old. I wonder if, yeah, you can see how old the cats get and how long they've been there. Whoops. All right, all right, let's go ahead, carry on. Nothing of significance is currently happening. Sheep Kit just wants to take a nap. Still wants to take a nap, hold still Sheep Kit. All right, we're feeling lazy. <gasps> Thinking about love, oh, Reed Fire. All right. And then Nervous is fighting with Berry Star. Oh, I wonder if Light Ear is just really feeling like she wants. Oh, you know what? If Light Ear is fighting with Berry Star, let's have her actually go ahead and sneakily take our medicine cat Ash Shadow as a mate because I feel like she's feeling a little bit, you know, a little bit restricted by everything. And then we'll also have Light Ear join their patrol. They have a disagreement. Oh dear, it didn't work out. And then Berry Paw, Sedge Speckle, and Volhart will go on patrol. A rogue, they drove it off. Wonderful. We're almost there, friends. We're almost there. This gets really freaking addictive. Also, thank you for reminding me I need to save more often, by the way, guys. <laughs> All right, so how are the kits? Is relaxing in camp? Hold still, everybody. Is debating if we should start war with another clan. 
And then Sedge, <gasps> Sedge Speckle is wondering what it would like be like to be leader. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm a little worried about that. Lightyear wants to go on patrol. Ash Shadow's eating. Oh, Pale Flame is thinking about kits. And then Volhart is spending a lot of time with Sedge Speckle, her mate. So I think that their, their relationship is definitely working out. And let's send out a patrol. Was it Reedfire who wanted to go on patrol? I can't remember. Lightyear, I think. They found a loner who wanted to join the clan. Look at that! Scorchmoth! A oh! A male loner. Alright, alright. You know what I think is gonna happen here? I feel like I feel like Pale Flame. Yeah, her mate is Reedfire, but I feel like if she doesn't have any kits with Reedfire this time around, I think that she might actually be interested in this new cat. So Sheep Kit invites the loner Jupiter to join the clan. They named their they changed their name to Blue Tail. Sheep Kit! <laughs> How did you find this cat? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say that Pale Flame actually is going to come on up to this loner. And she really, really wants to have some kits. So we're going to let her maybe have that relationship go down. And it looks like we have Scorch Moth, our new cat, and Blue Tail, our new cat, both kind of like talking about things that are going on in the middle of camp. So I wonder if they're having a hard time adjusting to things or maybe mm, how things might go in this clan. But there we go, guys. It looks like we're gonna make it. Things are starting to get a little chaotic. Uh, I actually enjoy the fact that Chestnut <laughs> is still sitting in the in the elder's den just complaining as the day is long and i actually am kind of addicted to this so we'll see where the story takes us next time as ash shadow is now talking to himself perhaps quite disappointed that the relationship that he was building briefly with our little pale one there you are pale flame just didn't work out she seems to be desperate for kits and we'll just have to see how that works out so thank you guys so much for joining me do please leave a like for Sun Moss Clan and their chaos. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.